Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Joshua chapter 6, verse 10, as well as Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 6. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Father God, for your word. Thank you for your strength and your might and your ability to block out the enemy and to save us, Lord. We love you. We give you all the glory and praise. There's nobody like you, God. You're worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. Let's get started. Joshua chapter 6, verse 10. Lord bless this word. All right, Joshua chapter 6, verse 10. But Joshua commanded the people, you shall not shout or make your voice heard, neither shall any word go out of your mouth until the day I tell you to shout, then you shall shout. So this is talking about the children of Israel um, coming into Jericho and defeating Jericho by this mighty miracle of a victory, right? These huge walls um, that weren't just going to topple themselves over and people just looking at them like they were crazy, right? Marching around the city every single day, not saying anything and these trumpets blasting and just, you know, people were confused, I'm quite sure, and afraid and laughing and probably doing everything else. So um, it says, but Joshua commanded the people, you shall not shout or make your voice heard. So there was so much obedience that needed to be in place in order for this to, to be successful, right? The people had to be on one accord. The people had to be tired of um, waiting in the wilderness. The people had to be fed up with the old way and ready for something new. The people had to, you know, trust in their God, right? Uh, make him their Lord in order to be able to do something like this because, you know, it just didn't make sense. And when things don't make sense to people, they don't tend to want to participate. They don't tend to want to walk by faith especially in any united way. This is millions of people out in the wilderness, right? The fact that they could all be on one accord and be able to do this is a major feat. And so it says, but Joshua commanded the people, you shall not make your voice heard, neither shall any word go out of your mouth until the day I tell you to shout, then you shall shout. And they had already had their issues with people being disobedient, you know, so it, it wasn't as if they didn't know that, you know, the results of disobedience. So um, they kept their, they held their peace, right? So um, this is conflated today with Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse six, better is a handful of quietness than two hands full of toil and striving after wind. So the Lord gave me this. It, it makes so much sense to go with the conflation, the previous scripture, just because, you know, when the children of Israel were walking around quietly, a handful of quietness, um, when they were walking around Jericho, you know, any man in the world at that time, as well as in this time, knew that in order to defeat a city, to, to get through those walls, those great walls that they would build around the city, there was no quietness involved, right? There was no peace involved, right? It was much toil, right? There was much striving after the wind, right? And, and there was much, much to do, right? But in this circumstance, it was the opposite, right? It was quietness. It was peace. It was obedience that they were doing, that they were going after, that they were striving for, right? This was an act of faith. It was a lot of, a lot of trusting in God that had to be done, right? Before they, before they could triumph and, and have these walls crumble before them, they had to have some quietness and some obedience, right? And it's better to have a handful of quietness than two hands full of toil and striving after the wind. 
right? How many times have, have people tried to come and defeat a city and it's been much toil and striving after the wind? How many times have you gone after something with your own strength, tried to do something for the Lord, but you're doing it in your own might, right? It's better to just have peace than it is to scratch at things and to go for things that God is saying, lean on me, rest in me, trust in me, right? Then, then to put all your hope in yourself and your muscles, to put all your hope in, in what you can do for yourself. It says better is a handful of quietness than two hands full of toil and striving after the wind. Don't strive after the wind in your life. Receive peace from the Prince of Peace. Receive, receive that quietness in your spirit. Yes, it may not look like what you hoped it would look like, right? Yes, your, your neighbor might have something better than you and you want to strive and strive and try to get and go after and have something of your own. But wouldn't you rather have peace? Wouldn't you rather have, have, have Jesus, right? Rather than striving after the things of this world, doing things the way that the world says are right, right? We all get caught up in that. You know, we all have to occupy until he comes. So you, it's it, we don't want to get caught up in the things of this world, right? We want to have our mindset on things above, not on things of this earth. We want to, to just wait on him and rest in him and have that handful of quietness, that peace that, that only Christ can bring. I'd rather have a handful of quietness than two hands full of toil and striving after the wind, wouldn't you? All right, let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word, Lord. Help us to rest in you. Help us to trust in you. Even when we don't know what to do, help us to just put our hope in you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We thank you for the peace that's settling in on us right now. We thank you for the peace, Jesus. Let us have peace, God. Help us to have a handful of quietness, Lord Jesus. Give us, give us that, Lord. We know that we can only receive it from you. The world is doing everything it wants to do, Lord. But we ask you for that peace, Jesus. Let it settle over us. Help us to trust in you for it, Lord God. Be a shield. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you, his children, his peace. Take care.